The cold has made its presence known across Kentucky, but I do see some signs of warming up in the extended forecast. Welcome to the Bluegrass Weather Report for Tuesday, April 25th, 2023. I'm meteorologist Shane Smith, and I'm glad you're here with us tonight. We're tracking a little bit of light rain across northern Kentucky this evening as we record just before 9 o'clock. Up along the Ohio River, you can see uh, up near Covington, Independence, Florence, uh, back over towards Lawrenceburg, uh, down towards Greenup and Ironton, Ohio. Uh, a few showers over in Ashland, Kentucky, but that rain should quickly move on to the east. High pressure going to build in, keep us mainly dry for one more day. But you can see out to the west, storms firing across the panhandle of Texas tonight. Our next big weather maker is spinning up over around Denver, Colorado, and it's going to sweep across the nation over the next couple of days and arrive here in Kentucky later on as we head towards the weekend. Probably Friday into Saturday is when that system looks like it's going to arrive. And when it does so, it could bring some heavy rain. We have the potential of some flash flooding and a marginal risk of excessive rain from our friends over at the Weather Prediction Center. That's the precipitation forecasting branch of the National Weather Service. And that is for Thursday into Friday, as we may see uh, some decent amounts of rain from our next weather maker. But before we get to that, we got to deal with another cold night. In fact, some of our friends in eastern Kentucky, uh, from Clay County to the north and east, over towards Pike County, uh, up towards Ashland, you are under a frost advisory tonight. And some of those sheltered valleys may dip back down to near freezing. So if you got sensitive plants out, cover them or bring them in. I know that's like the third night in a row you folks have been dealing with the potential of frost. And hang in there. Some warmer weather is on the way. Now the ridgetop should wake up in the low 40s, valleys in the lower 30s. On Wednesday as we go into the afternoon, I think most of the state reaches 60s. Western and southern counties may make a run into the 70s, and it should feel quite nice compared to what we've seen the last couple of days. And a similar story on Thursday, starting out in the 40s and making a run into the upper 60s and lower 70s. But notice a little cooler air moving in around 1 o'clock Thursday. What could be the culprit behind that? A little bit of rain heading our way. Here's the HRRR model as we go into Thursday morning. Notice showers and maybe a few thunderstorms breaking out across southwest Kentucky, Paducah over to Maysville, uh, Murray, uh, Bowling Green, a few hit or miss showers heading your way right around lunchtime, uh, spreading into western Kentucky and moving into south central Kentucky down around the Lake Cumberland region by early Thursday afternoon. We're going to go out to the big picture in the European model and uh, show you that on the larger scale. You can see that area of low pressure starting to spin up off to our south. That'll bring us showers, maybe a few thunderstorms Thursday and Friday. And then as that low deepens on top of us, we could likely see some heavy rain on Friday. And then we're going to pull down another round of colder air Friday into Saturday. Um, and some of the models going quite strong with that colder air. Others like the European not quite as aggressive. Here's a look at the GFS model. Similar overall setup with that low pressure coming in from the southwest on Friday. So smaller chances of rain Thursday, kind of hit and miss. Better, more widespread rain on Friday as that low is pretty much overhead in the Ohio Valley. Then that next cold front rolls in behind it with another area of low pressure. And that should bring more showers and storms Saturday. Very hit or miss in nature according to the GFS. A little bit better coverage on Sunday and then that cold dipping down once again. Not quite as cold as this last uh, cold snap, but it's still unseasonably cool early next week before we finally start to push that big dip in the jet stream out of here. That trough will move on out. How much rain can we see? Well, both the major long range models are in decent agreement. The GFS model showing a widespread one to two inches with a few pockets of heavier rain. A similar story on the European model as we go through the first half of the weekend. That would be through about midday Sunday um, on both of these models. So a little bit more we'll add to that on Sunday into Monday, but you get the idea. A widespread one to two inches looks to be heading our way and temperature is still staying below average. We should be into the 70s this time of year. No 70s in that long-range forecast, at least according to the GFS model. 
through the next 10 days, but we want to go well into the future. Let's go past this first weekend in May when we're dealing with abnormally cold once again. Notice all those blues showing up. We're still well into the trough, the trough, that dip in the jet stream, that river of air up around 30,000 feet that controls our weather patterns. As it dips down like this, that allows all that cold air from Canada into the eastern half of the U.S. But as we go towards the Friday before Derby, notice these reds starting to show back up. Oaks Day. The warmth is going to try to push back in, and hopefully it can get here for Derby Saturday, although that uh, run of the GFS is trying to shut off the warmth before it gets here. We're going to have to wait and see how it plays out. The model's been going back and forth the last couple of days on that long range pattern. Some want to stay very cold, others trying to bring the ridge back and warming things up and may kick off another round of severe weather. We're just gonna to have to wait and see how it breaks down. But I wanna say thank you. I know it's been a while since we've had a full weather update, had some sickness in the family, been busy with a few personal projects, but I want to let you guys know we are here. We're gonna keep you updated on the weather and we wanna give a big shout out to all our friends at backslash R. Kentucky over on Reddit. Um, you folks over in the Reddit uh, were kind enough to make me the official meteorologist for the Kentucky subreddit. I'm super happy about that. So if you're joining us for the first time from Reddit, thank you very much. Please hit that like and subscribe button. And if you like the content we are producing here, like and subscribe. And that really helps us out and helps keep us going here at the Bluegrass Weather Report. We got a lot of big things planned, especially as we head into the summer. And I gain a little bit more free time once the uh, teaching thing eases up a little bit. Um, you will also be able to catch me, not this weekend, but next weekend on WKYT in Lexington. So I uh, hope to see you then. And uh, we'll have another video on here uh, before then. We'll probably drop an update on Thursday. So until next time, friends, take care and stay weather aware. Bye-bye.